So as promised in previous videos, this is my video on the best strategies I know to buy a secondhand or used video card and not get ripped off. Let's jump right in. So I released a video a couple days ago that talked about how with cryptocurrency problems um, and the mining pool going in extreme difficulty and splits, cryptocurrency miners are literally going to be getting rid of their rigs. This was a comment I pulled from a forum earlier today. Um, highlight the second line there. If it will cost you $10 to grow one apple, but the market price of said apple is $2, you're better off using the $10 to get five apples rather than one. So a lot of people are hurting uh, that purchased some very expensive graphics cards within the last two years. And now that uh, they can no longer use them for cryptocurrency mining, uh, they've got no choice but to sell them or hang on to them. And I got a feeling you're going to see a lot coming to the market very soon. This will be a more of the high-end cards, the 3070s, 3080s, 3090s. A lot of your high-end cards are going to come down in price significantly, I feel, within the next month. All right, so this is just a generic generic tip for buying anything used. If you're going to use a site like OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace, I am so sad that we don't have Gumtree here in the United States, but it is what it is. Make sure that the seller that you're buying from has a rating. If the seller has no ratings and it is a new account, this is filmed in September 2022. If you're on OfferUp and the seller created their account in September of 2022, you need to be extremely careful buying the item from them. 90% chance you're going to get ripped off. All right, so these are the three main rules I always use when I buy used graphics cards locally. Number one, never negotiate on price till the seller agrees to send you a video of the card working in a computer. When you see the card working in the computer, you need a couple things. The first thing I want you to have them send you of is a video of it in Windows with a display adapter window open in device manager so you can see that that card is working in windows number two with this is if they can have them send you a firmark gpu stress test if you click 720p and custom preset it will benchmark the gpu and if the temps stay low and the fan doesn't ramp up too crazily and you're not seeing temps that go above 80, chances are the graphics card is okay. That's rule number one. Number two, when you show up to purchase the card, you've made your deal, you've set a location, have a picture of that graphics card with you either on your phone or print it out so that you will know exactly what it's supposed to look like when you get it. Double check it. Make sure you find all the brandings, the logos, the stickers. Know exactly what you're supposed to get. Once you do that, move on to number three. Number three, spin each of the fans on the graphics card. If it is a three fan graphics card, you flick and spin each fan. And you want to see it spin for a good five plus seconds. If there are any noises coming from the fan when you spin it, or if one of the fans turns th like three quarters of a turn and gets caught and won't spin anymore, do not buy the graphics card. They've done something to mess the fans up or they've ruined the ball bearings in the fans. Something that is going to require some labor on your part to change. And if that's the case, you need to renegotiate price because they're not selling a good working fan. If you follow my three rules here, you should be relatively good to go in terms of buying a graphics card. And I'm going to link my other video for buying a fake so you can watch that as well. And if you make sure you're not getting a fake and you go through and you've gotten the video of it, you've seen it, you've touched the fans, you know, everything is good to go and it is physically okay. I think you're okay to go ahead and buy it. And nine times out of 10, you're not going to get burned. Again, if the person has a positive rating, that's another good thing that you want to look at just to make sure that they have some type of record of having done business and people rating them. Thank you for watching.